secondary amendments to start this process off so that you can vote on the main amendment. In day one of the town meeting, the big debate was if pesticides should be used for treating weeds in Lake Maspinock. During the discussion over Article 8, the fiscal 2016 operating budget, treatment of the lake was debated. Most were against using pesticides or chemicals to treat the weeds in the lake. In the 1970s, the lake was treated with herbicides. Residents remember the summer when all the fish died and the lake was surrounded by signs stating it was unsafe to swim in the lake. We do not want this to happen again. I would like to propose that the town, under the auspices of the committees they deem appropriate, create a committee to study all the alternatives for weed control on Lake Maspinot and the other lakes within Hopkinton. These are precious resources and we need to make sure that whatever we do will protect these resources for future generations. Um, it would be good if we did something with this, it's constructive. The big problem is the lake is full of muck that is loaded with nutrients. That needs to go, otherwise we will always have weeds. We could have algal blooms. An algal bloom happened in Indian Lake in Worcester this last year. They called the DCR because you get blue-green algae, some of it puts out neurotoxins. The DCR shut the lake down for the rest of the year. We have a lake that's a big pot full of lots of different plant materials. You throw something in, you kill things, you stir it up the pot, who knows what happens next, but something will happen. We need to stop the addition of nutrients to the lake at the source. And if you look around the room, we are the source. And I think that we don't want to be spending the taxpayer of Hopkinton's money on treating with chemicals when we need rather to do an education of all the things that we Lake residents need to do to change our behavior, to stop putting fertilizer on our lawns, um, and to stop adding to the problem. Because if we use herbicides and we kill the weeds that are in there, they sink to the bottom of the lake and add to the nutrients. And the next summer we add more herbicides and so on. Some were for the use of pesticides. I was extremely apprehensive. I have two young children that live in this lake all summer long. Um, but I kept an open mind and we did a lot of research and we um, asked, went around to a lot of lake associations that have done this in the past and have done this for years. The herbicides we're using have been around for decades. Um, there's a lot of research on them. I think when people look at the side effects, which is what I did at first, you're looking at a label on the actual bottle. But when diluted parts per million in our lake, and it's spot treated. They're not dumping barrels of this on the lake and saying, go at it. You know, they spot treat these, the heaviest areas. Uh, we're primarily an association made up of uh, lakefront residents. Uh, however, we do have uh, many members uh, from other parts of town who enjoy Sandy Beach as well as the other recreational uh, resources that uh, Lake Maspinock provides. This is our problem. This is actual pictures from last summer in the North Basin and Lake Maspinock. The weeds have become uh, overabundant. We have uh, residents that are removing literally uh, barrels of, uh, and wheelbarrows full of, of lake weeds on a regular basis. Um, now, natural aquatic uh, vegetation is uh, uh, an important part of any lake ecosystem, but when it becomes overabundant like it is today in Lake Maspinock, it, uh, it's dangerous. It's dangerous not only for the recreational use, as you heard earlier, but it's also dangerous in terms of the life of the lake. Eutrophication uh, or the life cycle of a lake is actually accelerated as weed, uh, weed growth is left unchecked. You can be killed with iQuad. If you are exposed <coughs> to extreme, if you're dipped in it, yes, it's exposed. What's going to happen is a treatment in very small particles into the lake. As a boat goes through, it's down low. Within one day, it's all dissipated. In the end, amendments giving the Board of Selectmen control over weed treatment and $60,000 going towards lake treatment without the use of pesticides won the majority. Treating the lake without pesticides won a standing vote 150 to 90.